Hello everybody, Farmer Tom again, episode 2 of Farming Simulator Play Along. I hope you can hear me okay, uh, I know the audio on the first video was a little bit squiffy. I was having a few microphone issues. You have to bear with me, um, like I said I'm new to all this so I'm still getting everything set up as I would like it. Okay, so I haven't done any more uh, since the last video. We've basically carried on from where we left off. And uh, hopefully in this video we can get this um, canola harvested. Oh dear, I'm rubbish at this. And uh, hopefully the uh, guy will finish sowing the other field. I'm going to stop doing that because I'm rubbish at that. So I've got this guy sowing as this guy is harvesting. I'm just going to leave them to it. Turn the lights on. Uh, this field needs harvesting as well. I'm just going to stick him there and I am going to go and collect actually no I'm not I'm just going to do a tiny bit more mowing here oops sorry it's not the sign over and then I'm going to go pick up the forager and pick up some of this grass and uh, then we can get another silo of um, Oh, my mind has gone completely blank. Silage, that's the word I'm looking for. Get another silo of silage up together. I'm just going to, I'm not going to keep going over this. I'm just on my way down to pick up the harvest, so I'll just mow a little bit. Because I can't be bothered to do the whole lot at the moment. And it's getting dark, and it's bit of a pain trying to um, pick up the grass when it's dark. Can't really see a great deal. I haven't figured out how to turn on high beam headlights if you can even do it on tractors. I need to print off a um, list of all the keys because I keep forgetting what they will do. the edge of here, lift that up, turn it off, fold those up, and then we'll go pick up the forager. I need to give this tractor a wash, I think, I can't see out the window. Hopefully within the next few hours my other thing of um, silage will be ready. Whoa. See how far it is. 63% so it shouldn't take too much longer. So I'm just going to dump the mower here. Where is the... Um, oh, that's over there. I don't remember where I put the forager. Stick that there. Actually, I don't want the forager, do I? I want the windrower first. So let's pick that up. My no, I'm on the wrong side. Typical. No, not when I was on the right side. Oh man, I 
told you I was rubbish at this. I saw those um, marker plates and I thought that was the back of the windrow, but it's not, it's the front. Too far. Right. As you can see, I bought the um, the biggest wind rower. Oh man! I'm gonna have to remap these keys because I keep doing that. I keep pressing the wrong button all the time. The um, attach and detach buttons on Q. Forward is on W and X is on E, and I keep hitting either Q or E instead of W. There's nothing more annoying when you're in the middle of doing something and you press Q by accident. So anyway, yeah, I bought the um, biggest wind rower. I think that might have been a mistake actually because it is absolutely massive and the majority of the fields that I am doing aren't that big and I think the slightly smaller one might be Slightly better for the size field. Oh, I've missed all that bit. I've done the way back. Um, so I might trade this one in for the slightly smaller one. I'll see. It's not going to take long to do this field at all. Let's cut this end first. So let's unfold this, and you'll see how ridiculously big it is and that's pretty huge so we we'll lower him down get him started and off we go so basically all this does is it collects all the grass from all these different rows and just puts it into one row makes it a lot easier to pick up anything is you've got to um, because it's so big you've got to kind of guess when to turn and still pick everything up I've done that wrong. Doesn't matter if the rows are a bit bendy, you can still, um, the forager will still pick most of it up. And what you can do is you can uh, do this in one pass and then you can actually uh, do another pass and pick up these two rows into one big row as well. So you could do like two or three passes with the wind rower and end up with one massive big pile if you wanted to but it certainly makes foraging it a lot easier before I bought this I was leaving it as it is now and then getting the forager and going driving up and down, up and down, up and down and it, it's taken ages. This makes, although you, it's like another process, it actually does save you time. Because it really doesn't take very long at all, as you can see, to um, get some nice rows going on. Now I could spend half an hour on the um, forager picking all these little bits up, but this just puts it all in nice big piles. So you can get two or three passes of the uh, forager and away you go. This field's only going to be like probably half of the forager trailer. It's never going to be enough to fill it up with this field. But it'll get another um, silo started at least anyway. And I can do a bit more mowing a bit later on on some of the other fields.
one thing you have to be aware of is sometimes when you go over the edge of the road like I am now you can see that side bouncing up and down sometimes it actually catches and spins the whole lot around I don't know if I'm going to I want to try and demonstrate what I mean you can now I've got all these rows I've got one two three four five rows but if you go along again you can then put these two rows into one row if it's, I don't know if it's quite going to reach not quite I've missed a little bit but you get the idea anyway and then you can get those five rows down to like three rows etc etc So you can see I've put those rows into uh, another one. There's still a little bit down here that needs picking up. I put it into another row. Mine the tree, mine the house. Mine the cars. There we go, let's lift him up. I'm just going to dump this here. And then I'm going to go pick up the forager. Just to show you. See what I, I said on the um, last video about the cars, is they, they're so slow, it's ridiculous. I don't know why they drive so slowly. So I'm going to uh, windrow this later on. I won't bore you with all that, it's going to take ages. And um, I'll just quickly pick up the forager and just do a bit of foraging just to show you. And then I'm going to skip back and hopefully the um, combine harvest is finished. Move. Whoa, can't overtake that. Whoa, Christ. Thankfully there's no damage in this game, not that I've noticed anyway, so even if you do crash it's not the end of the world. Wow, just like that, see? I accidentally drove my um, telehandler into a lake the other day. That was fun. Oh, I've done it again. Damn it. Side the road would help. I can't think there's many farmers in real life that would be harvesting grass at half past eleven at night. See, there's still a bit of grass down here, actually, I haven't picked up. In the uh, coming episodes, I will be diversifying the farm. Uh, I'm not just going to stick with 
grass and that. I want to get some animals. I did buy some sheep actually, um, but I, again, it was like when I first started playing, I didn't really know what I was doing and the sheep were just kind of sat there. I didn't have any equipment to feed them with or anything. Lower the pickup would help, wouldn't it? So I actually sold them in the end because they were just costing money and they weren't doing anything. But I will, um, definitely will get some more animals in the future. I just want to build up a good bank balance so I can buy all the equipment I need but still have plenty of money as a backup should anything go wrong. You can see how quickly this grass is coming on. Now it's been rowed up. Usually it would like take ages to get anywhere near this percentage. I've got 20% already and I've only done two passes, so it's the wind row is definitely worth investing in. a lot neater as well I mean you only you only get a few tire marks in your field instead of before it was like up and down up and down up and down around 34% we might just get half the trailer full, maybe. Should easily get half a trailer full, actually. I underestimated. Sorry for the weird angle, but it's so dark I can't see a thing. There we go, 50% already. Just pick up these little scrappy ends here. there I missed as well isn't there usually I would take a bit more time and a bit more care whilst doing this but um, I don't want to be doing this for too long because it is a little bit boring to watch I just missed all that damn it I should just do one pass of these rows over here that I did and I'll take this back to the biogas plant and dump it just to show you. And a bit later on I'll come back and finish it off properly. You can see without being windrowed this grass is just spread out all over the place and you you can't really get a good sweep with the forager. I don't know what button it is to turn the um, flashy beacons on. To look that up. I don't want to just start randomly pressing buttons because I'll end up doing something I don't want to do. I 
Look how slowly, and I'm pulling this massive great trailer full of grass, and this guy's just dawdling along beside me. Get out of the way. Oh Christ. I think I'm going to have to turn these cars off again, they're an absolute nightmare. I think I left a little bit of grass here last time I did this bit. I don't know how accurate the prices are on this game. Um, I know when I sold some eggs the other day I had to think like 20 eggs or something and I got 400 pounds for them which isn't quite right. Alright let's unload this and see that tips at the back and builds a nice big pile that was just over half a trailer and we're only going to get like four or five percent full three percent you have to get ten percent full before you can um, actually put a cover over it and you have to drive over it a few times to compact it down and there we go all right so we'll leave that there for now and then we're going to skip over to I thought that was going to happen. Um, we've got a bit of a collision going on here. Let's move this tractor out the way. Oh, treat. Has he finished doing that field yet? I don't think he has. Mr. Combine is... Oh, he has, yeah, okay. So I've got to wait for the Combine Harvester to finish before we can finish seeding. The only trouble with doing it this way is this that half of the field is going to grow quicker than this half of it. That side started growing already. But never mind. Let's take this dude to the combine get ready to empty him we might chop these trees down actually they're getting in the way I'm going to let the combine finish that before I empty him I think actually save me doing it twice Turn my torch on. Can you chop these down or not? Hmm, maybe you can't. Oh, you can. Yes. Just getting the right angle is the issue. There we go. And there she blows. Whee! Splat. Oh. Trouble is, I'm going to have to um, bring my telehandler down here to get that out of the way now. That's probably a silly idea, wouldn't it? Unless I can push it with this tractor. <laughs> get out of the way, tree. Oh no, now I'm stuck. Trailer won't go over the tree. There we go. I 
I definitely want to get into the forestry side a bit more. So when I've got a bit more money, I think I'm going to look at getting the um, the scorpion maybe. Trouble is, if you get the scorpion, you've got to get the stump grinder, and then you've got to get the log carrier and all this, and it ends up costing a lot of money. And probably takes a lot of time as well, I would imagine. How's my silage doing? Uh, still not ready. Ninety four per cent almost there. Looks like the combine's got one more pass before it's finished. He's on ninety eight per cent full. Will he get all oh he's why is he doing that for? Okay, he's gonna have two more passes then. But he's gonna get full up, isn't he? So I'm gonna have to go down there and help him out. Fill me up, Buttercup. This trailer is quite good. It carries like 16,000 litres or something. So you can get a lot in here. Is it me or is that combine harvester moving by itself? It's definitely sliding backwards. Interesting. And he's off. What? Where is? What? Where are you going? Where is he going? Why is he doing that? I swear the bloke who's driving that is a moron. What are you doing? What a dick! And what's the bet? So he just stops at the end and doesn't do the rest of it. And he's left a big patch there. Why have you just stopped there? No, we don't want to hire a driver. If you want something to do, and do it yourself. Uh, B, turn on harvester. Nom 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 nom. Missed a massive big bit down there. Never mind. Yeah, like I said, I want to get another harvester um, to collect the chaff because at the moment it's all spewing out the back and is being wasted. And um, you can actually use that in the biogas plant for silage. So it seems a shame to be wasting all this stuff that you can get paid quite well for. But yeah, you need a whole harvester and a header, especially. Which is probably going to cost quite a bit of money. this little tuft over here and we'll go empty this out into the trailer oh actually we've got this other field haven't we uh, which field is it that one down there I might go do that first actually Start this end. Mm. 
shouldn't take too long to do that. Uh, where are we with the other ones? Uh, ready to harvest 24, 29. 29 is the one I'm doing now, I think. So 24 over there is almost ready. Or is ready. And 25 shouldn't be far behind. Uh, 41 is ready for grass. Canola. I've got a bit of wheat left here, look. Hmm. These are all sugar beet. Right, uh, let's have a quick look at... That's not what I wanted, that's what I wanted. Silage. Yeah, you can see I've got 17 wool, because I did have a few sheep um, before I got rid of them. Cool. Okay, well I'm going to let this dude get on with this. And I think I'll call it a day there for this video. And the next one we'll, we'll start doing some other stuff I think, um, once these fields are done. I might plant this one or something else. This one and that one, maybe do corn or something. And we can have a look at some other different things we can do in the game. I haven't even explored most of the map yet, there's still bits of the map that I haven't even been to. Uh, I've, I've went to the lumber yard. I've been to the windmill. Uh, I haven't been down to the grain elevator yet, I don't think. And I haven't been down to buy like 17, 16. Yeah, still a lot. And the beach. I haven't been down to the beach down there yet. So maybe we'll go have a look at those and uh, see what we can get down there. And probably buy another field as well to have maybe by field 15 if I can we'll see okay guys well until next time keep on farming and I shall see you all again soon goodbye